So let's get into the news. Uh, what's the news with uh, a possible merger with WBD and Paramount? Um, they were they're in merger talks. You know, I mean, it's, oh. it's the first stage. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't anticipate that whatever happens. You know, and obviously this is the biggest news story of the year when it comes to who gets, who lands where, and what days uh, the shows end up in 2025. Just give me one sec. I'll be right back. Yes. I got to let my cat in. Okay. Well, anyway, so, so yeah, we, we've already talked about this, but, you know, I mean, that's going to be the biggest news story of this coming year. Um, I don't think that these, that this merger, the, uh, potential merger or whatever is going to be, um, it's going to affect that because I think it's going to take, um, more time to put that together um, before you know w one before WBD WBD will have to make whatever decision they're going to make prior to that number one and number two it appears because WBD is the bigger company than Paramount when it comes to you know um, financial value so they'll be the ones probably making the decisions anyway so it's not going to be new people making the decisions so I think that the story is, is of course, huge as all, all these merger stories are. But um, as far as like, you know, does WWE end up, does Raw end up on WBD or does AEW end up on WBD? I don't think this merger will play into that story. Do you think that uh, Raw and WBD are still, that's still in play? It's major in play. Absolutely. Really? Absolutely in play. Yes. Yes. That's fascinating to me. Yeah, with yeah. all of the cost cutting that WBD is doing and all of the money it's supposedly losing, that it's interested, or at least it's doing its due diligence to look at acquiring a much more expensive wrestling property. That's fascinating. Yeah, but also one that, you know, look, you know that the in, in the TV world, having number one has its has its value over having number two. Um, and, um, yeah, I mean, cost per viewer, you know, raw is so much more expensive than, than AEW would be. Even if AEW had a big raise, um, it would still be cheaper per viewer. And, and also, um, you know, the AEW viewer is, um, you know, I mean, it's 13% higher money earner than a WWE viewer. So, I mean, there's that value too, that's rarely talked about. Yeah. But um, at the end, WWE, is, it doesn't, you know, I don't say it doesn't matter. Everything matters. But but WWE is still number one. And WWE also has the ability, whether it's on TNT or TBS, to raise the station average. Whereas AEW, um, you know, it's it's not, it's, it's a very successful show on Wednesday. But it doesn't really, um, I mean, it, 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 it raises the TBS weekly average a little bit. Um, but very little, whereas Raw would make a, a bit much bigger difference as far as raising the average and, and making the station look better when it comes to, you know, the rankings of the stations. Basically, it's saving USA, which is one of the reasons why I was so surprised when the talk started that USA may not retain them because, you know, they're getting... But, the, but with USA, it appears, it appears if they don't take Raw. But letting NXT go, which was not expensive, is, was a big surprise to me. Um Getting SmackDown was not a surprise. I expected SmackDown to end up there. Yeah. But SmackDown, I guess USA, if they do this, they took shows the less expensive show in SmackDown over the show that, that they've historically, that they created, you know, yeah. in, in, in 1993 and was, you know, a fixture um, aside from five, the five-year period on, on uh, Spike. Um, it's a fixture from 1993 to 2024. And then all of a sudden, twenty at the end of twenty twenty four, it goes somewhere else. It's um, I'm, I was I was really surprised. You know, when when all of this this stuff started, the things that I expected was I expected I actually expected everything to be, to be on USA and WWE, and and be, with the Peacock thing, NBCU to get everything, and just and and I expected that WBD would be the AEW station, you know, and eventually they would get the uh, the streaming deal, and it was just a question of how much would WBD pay for these three shows? And, you know, um, and it would be that, the, you know, for people, what you know, talking about the profitability and everything, I thought that, like, you know, even even with, you know, a somewhat 
minor increase. They it, it also turns the company profitable on an annual basis. So I thought that inevitably that's how it was going to come out. But now everything's up in the air. Interesting. What big of a role has the acquisition of CM Punk played in this? It opened up talks, you know. Um, it's 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 a role, you know. I mean, when when uh, you know how big, who's to say? But it's 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 something, yeah. I mean, it's, I like him that much. Well, I mean, That's the talks impressive. the talks were dead uh, in October, and now they're alive in December. So it meant something. So let's just let's just uh, speculate a little bit. Let's imagine. Okay. That okay. WBD <laughs> Raw does go to WBD. Okay. Where does AEW go? Isn't that the most interesting thing? There's there's not a lot of options there. Um, I talked to Garrett about this the other day, but the the one thing that would be a step, a major step up, but I don't think it's possible, would be a ESPN, um, because number one. They have so many other things going on on ESPN that I don't think you could get a day in a time slot unless you're doing like afternoons or, or you know, out of prime time. That would work. After Number school, two. like the old world class show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but that's not going to help you go. No, yeah, not not the other one is, is that um, there's no evidence that ESPN um, has, has made a big play for WWE. And if they were going to want wrestling, you would think that that would be the wrestling that they would want also in the number one group. Now, one of the differences, the difference with AEW when it comes to ESPN with, with WWE is, is that AEW could go there and they could have everything. They could have the streaming on ESPN Plus and, and AEW would be very valuable, I think, to ESPN Plus as far as getting new subscribers to that station. And they would be able to get the next day rights or they could do it live like UFC, you know, UFC. All the stuff that's on television um, concurrently at that moment streams on ESPN Plus. So you could stream all of those shows um, and be on television and it builds up. Um, so so, so for people who have cut the cord, they can stream AEW, which right now is, you know, you can still do it, but it's more difficult. Um, it'd be an easier thing. It, it would build up subscriptions. And also they have the pay-per-view component to where they could make money, you know, like either buying the pay-per-views like they did with UFC or just airing them and splitting, you know, doing a 50-50 split and they would get essentially free money. So there's, there is a value to that. And there's a great value to AEW if, because one of the things that really helped UFC, not so much now, because it seems like UFC's pay-per-views aren't so strong, but what helped UFC a lot was, all of a sudden, you know, when when your uh, TV rights are held by ESPN and not by Fox, all of a sudden your stars end up on ESPN talk shows all the time, and these shows get plugged on Sports Center. And I don't know if Sports Center would plug an AEW pay per view, but would they put stars of AEW if they own the rights the, the rights to the TV and the streaming and the pay per view? Would they put those stars on their talk shows? And the answer is yes, for sure, because they already do that with, they'll do that with WWE and they'll do that at WrestleMania and they don't own anything there. They're just doing that because it's, you know, it's it's a big show and they'll do it at some of the other shows as well. So that would be like the pie in the sky that I don't think will happen. But but there is a logic to it. Aside from that, um, you know, what do you, you know, I mean, what, what, do, you, what do you got out there? Um, if, if, yeah. With, um, USA, I don't think is going to take it because um, they already have uh, SmackDown. Um, they could go on CW. I think that's a, a step down. Well, it is a step down. Um, I mean, there's stations they could go on. They go on FX. They could go on um, FS1. You know, because Fox won't have anything to do with it. I don't believe. I don't believe that they could go on FX on Fox on Friday night. If they could, that would be a giant step up. But I don't. I just don't reasonably think that could happen. If AEW was doing the numbers that they did um, in late 2021, early 2022, I think that they could make a very good case for Fox because Fox dropped wrestling, not because the ratings weren't good. The ratings for SmackDown are great. 
you know, I mean, they win Friday night all the time. This past week, with the exception, um, this 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 week, with the exception of um, two soccer games on Univision and, of course, the NFL, right. um, which which is a different stratosphere of anything. The only shows on network TV that beat SmackDown in in the key demo were Crapopolis on Fox, which got an NFL lead in or wouldn't have done it. And the other one was Survivor. So essentially, you know, on uh, you know, as your weekly entertainment shows, um, SmackDown's beaten everything but Survivor, and and sometimes Big Brother or something. But it's it's up there with the top shows. But the cost was too high for Fox. You know, obviously they could get AEW for a much lower cost. But I and and the AEW, if, if AEW's number one show, you know, Dynamite was put on Fox. I mean, it's still going to do better than than what Fox does. Certainly on a lot of their Saturday nights. I mean, they had a uh, what was it, a college basketball game that did. Um, I think it was an 0.13 on Saturday night on Fox. I mean, AEW, you know, would do on you know, I mean, on Saturday night that on 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 uh, TBS they did a 0.15, so they beat it. And and with the advantage of being on a network, you know, you're going to do way above that. So. You know, it's 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 um, it's not um, it's not like it's uh, something that's makes no sense. But I also don't think it'll happen because I don't see Fox after giving up WWE taking another wrestling show that will draw a lower rating and then kind of being looked at as like ah, you know, look at this, you went with the it it, it almost it almost you're almost going in the, the the programmer who makes that decision goes in basically with the fact that they are going to be looked at as a failure because they're going to go, WWE was doing 0.55, 0.60, and now you're doing, you know, let's just say 0.3, you know, you know, you're, you're down, whatever, Um, you know, even though it would be, you know, like the cost per viewer would be much lower and, and financially they wouldn't be losing the same money, but you know, the, the programmer who makes that call is going to look very bad, so that's why I don't think that call is going to be made. Orange sold the knee, which is he got attacked. I don't remember him getting attacked. Matt Menard on said he was attacked the night before, which would have been ROH. So it's before probably going. ROH. Are you smoking or what's what happening the, here? I don't, what the fuck? What is, is going happening? On? I have no Bro. clue. What is this? <laughs> dude? Like there's, I've changed nothing. Smoking is room. bad enough for you, but you don't need <laughs> right. to do it on the air. What is happening here? God. I'm glad I'm not the only one experiencing this. Did you die? <laughs> I've ascended. Yeah. I don't know. And it looks like it's changing colors, too, which is weird. It's going from red to blue. What the hell's flashing? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm everyone's saying, this, shut man. your lines, dude. They're completely closed. Oh, my God. Maybe I open them. What is... There we go. The sun moved. Well, uh, yeah, the sun actually. The no. Early... Oh. <laughs> okay. The sun will continue to move, <laughs> and then we'll be able to see again. We then had uh, Abaddon take on Trish Adora. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.